Hi everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me. My name is Claire. Um, I have got my biggest ever commission coming up. It's going to be a four foot by six foot piece. H huge, biggest I've ever done. So I'm going to do a practice, or I may, have do, may do a few practices for it, um, because I want to test out the different colors that the customer would like. So she would like a gold base and she would like some fluorescent colors. And she's based the, this painting on a one I did back in 2020 last year, which was a blue base with fluorescent colors. So the, this, the um, design is gonna be the same, the design colors are gonna be the same, but the base is different. She would like a gold base. So I'm really, really interested to see how these colors are going to work with the gold base. Um, so let me show you the colors I'm using. So here are my colours. Um, I should have said as well, it's going to be a Dutch pour, this piece. So the base colour is this Montmartre gold. And then, and then for the design, I've got the Pebio Studio Acrylics fluorescent pink. But then to complement that, I've decided to add a deeper pink, a magenta in, so Montmartre magenta. Then I've got De La Rowney System 3 Acrylic Fluorescent Green. And then to complement that, I'm going to add in some of this Amsterdam Thalo Green, which is a transparent colour. So I'm hoping it will just sit there, sit there nicely in the background. I've got some Fluorescent Orange by De La Rowney. Um, I've got some Pearl White by De La Rowney. And then some bluer colours. Um, so I've got Ultramarine Blue by Crawford & Black and um, Payne's Grey by Pebio Studio Acrylics. Um, so they've all been mixed with Flood Fluoratrol and I'll put the recipe in the description of this video. The canvas I'm using is 29 by 42 centimetres. I've just gone and covered the base in the gold. So I'm now just going to add the design colours. So the design of the painting that the customer really liked was a Dutch pour that the, where the colours were laid down horizontally in the centre and then and then blown out from there. So I'm going to do something similar. So I'm gonna try and replicate that, but with different colors. So I'm just gonna start off by laying down the Payne's Gray. So I'm just gonna do a more or less straight line through the center. Now, the main problem with doing a practice run of a painting is that this canvas is tiny. So it this, although this is a practice run, I'm really, all I want to really do is look at the colours and just see how well the colours work together for this piece. Um, because for a larger piece, the composition and the design will have to be totally different because you, you use the hairdryer to blow out a design, but obviously it doesn't go anywhere near the edges on a really large canvas. So it may end up being a slightly different design. I'm not sure yet. I haven't fully decided, would discuss that with the, with the customer yet. So this is really just to test the colours because it's quite unusual to have such bold colours, I think, on a gold background. So I'm looking forward to seeing what this looks like. She just wants it to be bright and bold, bright and colourful. Right, that's the colours down. So let's see how I'm going to do this. I think... I, I'm just thinking whether I should turn the canvas. I think I'm going to turn the canvas. So I'm just going to move my tripod. I spent ages setting everything up and then it didn't occur to me that when I actually blow this out, I want to change the angle. Right, hopefully that's okay. You can see all that. So let's think how I'm going to do this. So I could either start just from one end. What I quite like doing is starting in the middle and then I might turn the canvas around and go the other direction. I think I'll do that. So I'm going to do a slightly wiggly, wiggly line. When I blow the paint out, I'm not going to go at 90 degrees. I'm going to go at about 45 degrees, at 45 degree angles. And I'm going to start near the center.
Right, my first thoughts are that it's just not bright enough. There's a lot of cells starting to pop through. The gold is popping through. I'm not so keen on that dark green. It's the dark green I'm not liking, I think. I just think it looks too dark. I think I'm going to take out the... I think I need what I need to do is take out the dark green, get rid of that, and actually add more of the colour, more of the fluorescent colours. The colours are quite pretty. The, de the design at the moment is awful. I'm not happy with it at all. But as I said, I'm looking at the colours. The colours here are fab because they're very rich and very bright. Right, I'm going to scrape this. I'm going to remove the paint and do it again, but taking out the green. I think I'm happy with everything else. Right, let's see. I think I might have to scrape it all, but let's just see if I can get away with just scraping the design. Right, so I'm going to do the same again. I'm just putting in this ultramarine blue here instead of last so I can end with some of the bright iridescent colours, the fluorescent colours. Now unfortunately that's all my orange gone. I don't have I can't mix any more of that because um, I've run out and I've just ordered a new tube of it. Right, and then the green on top. Right, I'm going to blow from one end instead of in the middle this time. much much happier much happier um the composition I'm st is still not great i think this canvas is a bit small for my dutch pores um i'm just going to do some extra blowing around the edge now Right, what do you make of this? It's certainly different. It's really, really interesting. Some of the colours in that central band are absolutely gorgeous. And there are so many cells. Um, I think because the base colour is iridescent, iridescent colours just tend to produce more cells. So just look at that. They're just, yeah, just everywhere. Really, really gorgeous cells. Um, the colours are lovely. I love... This section here, you've got the Payne's Grey, the Magenta, and then the Fluorescent Orange. Now, those three colours together, I think, look amazing. Same here. Uh, well, the Fluorescent Orange, the, uh, the Fluorescent Pink, and the, um, and the Blue are really pretty. Just so many cells. Um, I wasn't happy with the way it initially blew out with the hairdryer, so I've actually spent a long time just tweaking all these edges. So the edges are now very, very sort of random and um irregular but i think that matches really well because of all the all the cells in it it almost just looks a little bit i don't know a little bit like seaweed i think um and there look you can see all the colors there just up against each other it's really different um so what i will do now is show this to the customer 
and get her feedback and see what she thinks, um, what she likes, what she doesn't like. Um, what I'm very happy with is, oh, excuse me, I'm happy that there was no brown. I was so worried because the gold is almost a version of brown, mixing things like green with it, you're just going to get brown, but I haven't done. Um, so I'll be back when it's dry. So here's the finished painting. I've got really mixed opinions on this on this result. Um, I absolutely love the really bright colours. So the blue and the pink there, the orange. There's some absolutely gorgeous, really bright bits, the green on the end there. But there's also this kind of darky area here, here, which looks either like a sort of dark green or dark brown, which I'm not so keen on. So there's, there's, there's good things and there's bad things. I love the gold base. Let me show you the shimmer of this base. It's such a pretty, pretty colour, this. It's so, so sparkly and iridescent. Um, there's some beautiful effects, some really gorgeous cells. Let me just focus this better. Wait, won't it focus? Um, and some really nice lacing. Um, and there's some crazy cells and lacing just there and also here um, but there's just there's just this slightly muddier colour here and where is it in, in here and a little bit in here I'm just not so sure about I think it is a really dark green where some of the colours have mixed with the gold which is inevitable um, so I'm just not sure I'm not sure I think Potentially, these colour color schemes could look fantastic, it could look so good, but just maybe not on the gold base. Not sure. Let me know what you think. Um, do you think this colour scheme works? Um, so I've shown this piece to the customer and she does also agree with me, she's not quite sure. So we're actually going to change the colour. She's definitely wanting a gold base. We're going to change the colour, so I'm going to do another test piece with some different colours um, on a gold base. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Take care. Bye.